years of walking by maternity stores and knowing that I would never walk into one. And then I could. People would ask what was wrong with me, that you're not married. When I was 44, I was in a really dark place. The last of my single friends was pregnant. I had really lost my 30s. I was with someone on and off for 11 years, but it just never was the one. I really felt like it would never happen for me. Very You've Got Mail. <laughs> we had dinner and we fell in love. I chose to have faith. If I'm meant to be a mother, I'm going to be. It didn't matter to me. I could love any baby, however it came to me. But he felt that he wanted a blood relationship with the child. So I then started exploring going down the surrogacy path. I met a fertility doctor. He said, why do you feel that you need a surrogate? And I said, I'm 52 years old. And he said, well, you're so young in spirit. I'd like to give you an exam. You just have to have a healthy uterus to carry a child to term. I had a major out of body experience. I'm sitting across from this doctor who's telling me that the impossible is possible. And he said, I'm going to encourage you to carry a child. All you need is a donor egg. It's very hard to really embrace something that you have so longed for and never being able to fulfill that need. And here I was at 52 years old and somebody said, yes, you can. There's a lot that goes into IVF that a lot of people don't realize. It's 12 days until you find out if you're pregnant. And I will tell you, those are 12 of the most excruciating days of your life. It is scary because it's a high risk situation. I was not going to be paralyzed with fear. We got pregnant on our first round of IVF. When we got the news, it, it, it was, I just, there really are no words. I loved being pregnant. I felt wonderful. I remembered somebody writing a comment online saying, does she know that when her daughter is in high school, she's gonna be 70? And I said, yes, and I can't wait because I feel like I'm Benjamin Button. I'm just getting younger. I didn't have an epidural. I had no drugs. I had a complete natural birth. My husband held her first. And I remember seeing them looking at each other. And I just remembered the feeling like my heart just couldn't get any bigger. And then when they put her on my chest, I started crying. Greatest day of my life. Truly, greatest day of my life. My whole outlook is it's better late. Every day I have an appreciation, a gratitude, a presence of time and moment that I might not have had when I was younger. And for her to be such a special, amazing, beautiful, perfect little girl, it's just my dream come true.